You have to see our perspective. Y'all look like some Illuminati type of dudes, bro. You know the worst part about this is that this 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 dude is getting grinded on, and in any second, y'all gonna slut shame her for doing this. Y'all, you guys are gonna slut shame her for doing this. That she's in the wrong for doing this. This is what we're promoting right now, guys. Let me get this straight. This is on the Quran and Sunnah, right? Like this is the Quran and Sunnah. This is the aqid that you're always trying to bash people about. This is the true Quran and Sunnah, right? I see how y'all roll. I see you grinding in a concert for music in the Holy Land. Yo, this dude legit has like a blunt in his mouth. He has a blunt in his mouth, that's what he's doing. He has a little doobie, and he's just so proud of it. That's what man's is doing. And that's what y'all promoting over there, man. Y'all about to get roasted right now. Oh man, this, yo, this, I can't wait. You got, look at this. What the hell is this? A'udhu Billah. Way of life has cute, even in hunted. Assalamu alaikum, welcome back to my YouTube channel. As you've seen from the preview, things were getting kind of hot and heavy up in Saudi Arabia. Brother, the end is near, brother, it's coming. Rapper artist Lil Wayne along with Tyga and Future are some of the names to headline on Saudi Arabia's music festival. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is not a joke. This is not a drill either. Saudi Arabia is hosting music festivals. There was recently a Daria music festival to take place in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, in which these musicians and rappers are invited to perform. In the Prophet's land! Saudi Arabia's concerts have been blasting in the recent months, with well-known names from the industry to take stage to perform at these sold-out concerts of over 68,000 people. So there's a lot of things for us to discuss and I want to jump straight into it. Before we proceed with this video, I need to smash this video with a huge thumbs up and you subscribe to the channel as well. Then let's try to get our thoughts together. The number one thought that I'm having along with a lot of you seeing these clips and hearing about this is what in the hell hell are you thinking Saudi Arabia like this crown prince must have lost his mind if he's allowing things like this to happen where are all the people speaking up about this like why aren't the students of knowledge the scholars and those on the Sharia Council talking about this issue why aren't they condemning why aren't they stopping uh, because if they did they'd be jailed like many other scholars have been so what you're trying to tell me is this that I can go perform Umrah then on the way back check out Chris Brown's concert and then go perform Umrah again to wipe off these sins? Brother, you must go to Miqat first to perform second Umrah. Ah, uh, this man is disrespecting Saudi. I spit on you. Poo. I want to make this clear. I love the Saudi people. I have nothing against any of you guys personally. This video is against the politics and just the overall regime and how they're dictating the country in a very haram way. Oh, he said it was haram. I want you all Saudis to understand it from our perspective. Anyone looking from the outside in has agreed to one thing it seems as if Saudi Arabia have made some packs with certain people that they're bringing and preparing for the forthcoming of the Dajjal I just I just want you to wrap your head around this this is what we think and what we see everything lines up and makes sense for us to believe that Saudi Arabia is trying to bring the Dajjal and when we see those one eye statues and the one eye emblem on the law enforcement uniforms and now we see concerts by some artists who promote homosexuality rappers and artists and musicians who promote alcohol marijuana drugs and illicit sex with women you have to see our perspective y'all look like some illuminati type of dudes bro we have seen the evidence oh i hate how he talks about saudi bloody pool my issue is with all those people who are so quick to condemn the west the people who are saying don't listen to that speaker because he's a khawarij don't listen to that speaker because he's a Kufar. Oh, that speaker's trying to deviate people from Islam. Listen to me. My question is, where are those people to condemn Saudi Arabia for what they're doing? You promoting this in your own country are openly suggesting that music is halal. But your students of knowledge are always condemning those who are listening to music and creating music themselves. Then why aren't you stopping from your own country, bro? And Dean Squad was out. All oh, you're trying to condemn Dean Squad. J. Dean is making tracks. All oh, you're trying to condemn J. Dean. But then where's the support right now why aren't those same people trying to condemn what's happening in saudi arabia y'all trying to get at me for one collab that i did with jay dean in which he barely even spoke in that video by the way sorry jay i speak a lot yet you're silent about this a whole freaking concert in your country well we have the evidence we saw it with our eyes but guess what i don't know the political climate i don't know if it's okay for students of knowledge and how they are and how they have to respect their leader even though they're leading them astray i don't understand
understand your political climate. One thing I do know is that in my country that I'm in right now, I can speak against my own country and I won't get jailed. That seems a little more just than the fake way that you guys are running your country. Just picking and choosing what you want from Islam like it's a freaking buffet. Oh, look how he causes fitna amongst the Ummah telling us to go against our leader. Astaghfirullah. Oh my man, Adam Saleh is ruining the youth. Homie, you guys are inviting people to your country to perform their music. Out here bashing people for what they do, yet the sheer hypocrisy in which you're not talking about what's happening in Saudi Arabia is laughable. Wallahi, we have the evidence. We saw it with our eyes. Oh, Khalid Sadiq is using musical instruments. He's doing this, he's doing that. You're publicly shunning him and everyone else similar to what he does, yet you're not shunning this? It's like you're in bed with the country and you're afraid to speak your mind. Saudi Arabia Arabia spent over a million dollars setting up this event, inviting these rappers. Yet your people are starving. <laughs> It's just such a shame and an embarrassment of how you're running your country and how you would let your people starve to death instead of paying that same amount of millions to clean up the streets from all the poor people. We're claiming to be Islamic countries, Muslim countries, yet our Islamic values are missing. Oh, uh, look at him. He looks like a clown. Leave Saudi alone. I gotta go, I gotta drop a bomb on Yemen. Well, that was the video, guys. Jazakallah for watching. I wanna know your thoughts and your feelings about this. Tell me in the comment section below what did you think about this entire thing? What were some of your major takeaways? Tell me in the comment section below. If you benefited and enjoyed this video, please make sure that you smash this video with a huge thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel as well. And until next time, you cannot escape anymore. You're finished. I'll do it I'm out. I'm feeling good waking up today, got to say thanks to Allah. <laughs>